All right, in this video, a quick follow-up to the uh, text global variable I just posted, um, I think, like two days ago. But um, following up here, uh, we press you know this button down here, the master circle. I talked about this in the other video. Feel free to watch to go through this step by step. And we press M up here. You know the music player can pop out. We press C. Um, the clock can pop out, and we can go back and forth between these things. And remember, if we press the master circle, everything closes out. So if we open back up. Uh, by going pressing on our master circle, only this will pop out. However, here is um, the next question that was asked: was um, basically um, the problem is you know they're pressing the M and the music player pops out, but they want to close the music player if they press it again. And I'm up here pressing it right now, and nothing's happening. And that's because of the way I have this coded. So let me go into KOWP and show you how to fix that. Basically, when we press M one time, we want it to open the music player. If we press M again, we want to close it. So what I need to do is I need to edit this stack group here and overlap group M. If we go to touch, we want to change this code. Um, I don't want to change the global variable, but here. Um, we don't want it to be just two every single time. That's why nothing was changing because if the text global variable is already two, if I press it again, it's going to keep it at two and it's not changing anything. So here's what we want to do. We want to say if uh, GV go is not equal to two, we want to make it equal to two otherwise. Now, what do you want it to be if it is equal to two? We want it to go back to one because if we set it back to zero, it's going to close out our little bar we have across the top. You know how we have that bar up here with the M and the C. Um, but if you recall from the other video, I had the bar with the M and the C up here. I had that set to show as long as the global variable um, was not zero. So I don't want to set it back to zero. I just want to set it back to one. Um, so let me copy and paste this because I'm going to do the same thing for my circle button as well. So I'm going to back up. I'm going to go to the circle right here. I'm going to edit its touch because I had this one set to three and three only. So let me uh, paste in that code and I just want to say, okay, if the global, global variable is not three when I touch it, I want it to be three. Um, or if it is three, I want it to go to one. So that's what's going to happen here. So let's check that. Let's um, back on up, save, go back to the home screen, and this should fix everything. So, you know, coming down here, touching the master circle, that should make the doc come out up here. If I press this, it should make it two. And now if I come up here and press it again, it should, it should set this back to one. And as you can see, that's opening and closing the music player because this music player will animate only if it'll come out if the global variable is two. If it's not two, it's going to go back. So if I press this, it's setting the global, global variable back to one. If I press this, it's going to set it to three for my clock. If I press the clock button again, it goes away. And it still works seamlessly if I go back and forth between these guys, closing this down, opening it back up, pressing M, closing the music down, close, opening the music back up, pressing C, all that still works. And now if I press the master circle, I didn't change any coding there, so it should close everything. And then if I open it back up, as you can see, the dock is the only thing that you see. So um, there you have it. That's how you can open and close um, a particular thing by um, pressing one button and that's what the subscriber was requesting there and that's it for this video hope it helped